Hello everybody. Today we're going to be learning about everything that you need to know about deal or no deal on board a cruise ship. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is your man, the Bus Man, bringing you another episode of On The Road. This channel is your gateway to all of my travel tips, guidance, and advice on all things related to motorcycling, motovlogging, cruise, and destination vacations. For those of you watching who have already subscribed to my channel, double thumbs up, thank you very much, it is appreciated. With your support, my channel is slowly but surely growing. For those of you watching who have not yet subscribed, if you like the content, my only request is that you consider hitting that like and subscribe button and ringing that bell for future notifications. It's absolutely free. There's no commitment, no obligation. Doing so will only let you know when I put out future content. So, without further ado, pitter patter, let's get at her. So, as I talked about in the intro, uh, today's uh, topic is going to be about all things related to deal or no deal on board a cruise ship. One of the activities uh, on most cruise lines, but specifically uh, celebrity, is the deal or no deal uh, game. This is one of the sea day activities that's available for all guests to uh, partake in. So at the time of this recording, the price structure to play deal or no deal on board a celebrity cruise ship is one card is $24.99, two cards is $39.99, or you can play four cards for $49.99. So for your convenience, while participating in deal or no deal, I did record one of the sessions. So this, uh, the video lasts about 10 to 15 minutes or so, which is typical of the average length of game you'll get an opportunity to watch the game and see firsthand exactly how the game is played, how contestants are selected, and, uh, and how much the contestant ended up winning. So prior to watching the, the short video of the actual game, I'm gonna give you a few tips and insider tricks on how to play this game. So uh, when you're watching uh, the game, you're gonna notice on the left-hand side of the board, uh, you're going to see uh, numbers ranging from a penny up to $50 and on the right hand side of the, of the board uh, I believe you're going to see $75 up to uh, $1,000. So when you're playing the game, uh, your card is going to match exactly the same uh, as it appears on the screen. So you're going to have cards numbered 1 to 20, just like the contestant on stage will have card suitcases from 1 to 20 as well. So if the contestant, uh, when she gets on, or he or she gets on stage, uh, if they pick case number one, then case number one will be their case for the duration of the game, just like the TV show. And they'll continue to open cases in a sequence uh, at the beginning of the game, and then, it, and then it decreases as the game moves on. Eventually, they'll be left with their case and two other cases, they'll make a final selection, then they'll be left with two cases, and they'll have an option to keep their case or switch their case, and, and then the, what'll end up happening is the case that they pick gets revealed and they'll find out how much they win. Now you are gonna note that depending on the values of the cases that are opened, uh, the banker's offer can increase or the banker's offer can decrease, just like uh, the TV show. So in, in many ways, it mirrors exactly what's happening on the TV show. But unlike the TV show, if your name is not selected to go up on stage and you become a contestant, well, this is where you play your cards. So in my case, uh, I always play four cards. So uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm just holding up one of my cards. And uh, you play along with the player. So... Um, 
In this particular case, if the player chooses case number one, well, your case number one isn't going to be revealed until the end of the game. If her next case is number two, then you open up case number two, and in my, in my, on my card, it shows case number two holding a value of 25 cents, which is a low value on the left-hand side of the board. Now, when she opens her number two, if her case also has 25 cents behind it, then I win a match. And what's important to know as a, as a player in the audience, you don't win 25 cents, you win a match. And what you wanna do throughout the course of the game is escalate and increase the number of matches that you have. When you're watching the video, you'll see the prizes incrementally increase as you gain more matches in each game. Now the cards that you purchase are good for two games. So once the first contestant uh, finishes their game and their final prize amount is determined, what you do is you close up all of your suitcases on all of your cards. Another contestant will be randomly selected to appear on stage and the game will continue. So another insider tip or trick when playing deal or no deal, if you're playing multiple cards uh, during the course of the game, it can be hard to track exactly uh, how much you're winning or how many matches you have. So here's something that'll make it your life a little easier while playing the game. So on your card you have your 20 cases but the 20 cases that you have only have the small number values on the left hand side of the board. So in order to put this into context there's 10 numbers but you have 20 cases. So there's two of each small number on your card. So if the contestant on stage opens the case that has $1,000, you don't need to look at your card. If they open the 300 or the 350, you don't need to look at your card. Your card will not have the large dollar amounts that are contained on the right hand side of the board. They only have the small amounts on the left hand side of the board. So I've opened up uh, one of my cards and I'll just uh, move it in close so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now feel free to pause the video. And so none of the cards have any of the big amounts. So you only need to track the small amounts. And lastly, before we get to the actual uh, video recording of the show itself, uh, once the games are over and you've left the theater or the venue, uh, the venue is different uh, on different ships. Um, after 6 p.m., you can go down to the casino show your CPAS card, tell them that you played deal or no deal, and uh, they'll go into the computer and they'll tell you exactly how much you win. Once the game starts, the computer randomly generates numbers on the big screen and locks in those numbers, then the contestant picks their cases. At that point, how much you've won is predetermined. Uh, the computer knows exactly how much you've won before all the cases are even open. So even if you make a mistake or you, you, maybe you think you won $5, it's happened to me a few times where I go into the casino to verify uh, how much I think I've won and I've actually won more than I think I've won. So any mistakes that you make go in your favor. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, you're just playing the game for fun. Uh, as soon as the game starts, it's already predetermined how much you've won, like I said earlier. So the last thing that you're going to see is what's called the banker's wheel. So after the first two contestants are selected, played their game and left the stage, a third person is randomly selected from the crowd and they'll go up and they'll get an opportunity to spin the banker's wheel. Now you are going to see a technical glitch or malfunction as it were, unfortunately, go figure, record a game and that's when something happens. But we roll with it, that's how we do it on the bus man on the road. So the banker's wheel will have eight pie slices on it. Each of the pie slices will have varying amounts of uh, prize money. Uh, four of them will have prize money. The other four will say free cruise. So if you happen to be selected to go up on stage to play the banker's wheel portion of the game, then you will have a, essentially a 50% chance of winning a free cruise. So as I mentioned earlier, you're not going to be able to see the prize amounts uh, that were uh, available on the wheel because seven of the eight 
pie slices uh, had no value found, which was some kind of a computer glitch, and one of the pie slices had $200. Uh, I've played this game now in total uh, uh, 10 times, uh, and of the 10 times that I've witnessed or played the game, I've seen four people win a free cruise. So you can win a free cruise if you play this game. Again, your odds of being selected as a contestant or winning the banker's wheel is entirely dependent on the number of people that purchased cards uh, and how many cards they picked. So if they sell a thousand cards in a game and you have uh, four cards, well, do the math. You have a 0.04% chance of being picked. Uh, but just like the lottery, somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to go up there. So uh, I, I like playing Deal or No Deal. I find it very enjoyable, very, very entertaining, and it's a relatively inexpensive uh, way to uh, spend some leisure time on the cruise ship on a sea day. So uh, that's basically all I have uh, for the narrative. Uh, and enjoy the uh, recorded portions of the game show. The video will clarify exactly everything that I'm talking about and it should answer all your questions and give you a good idea of what to expect should you decide to play deal or no deal. And with that, I'm calling this one a wrap. I am the bus man. You take care, be well, and I'll see you on the road. Aye, aye, and goodbye. You take care, everybody. Peace. You want to come up? All right. A lot of people are wanting to come up. Let's find out. Again, look at the bottom serial code number, all right? Call out the number you want. What number do you want to call out? One, somebody said. Four, somebody said. All right. One. Zero. Seven. Five. Zero. Four. Six. Rain W. Rain W. Come on down. Is there a rain here? Back in the back, back row. All right. She's making her way. She's all the way in the back row. All right, so again, everybody, make sure you fold your suitcases down. Now what we're going to do is as she puts the suitcases, we'll then reopen the same suitcases that you have on your cards, formulating all new matches. Okay? Here she comes, all the way down from the back row. There we go. Hey, congratulations! I think Ray was the last person to buy cards. We were at the tail end. All right, and you saw how the game works. So now that you're the person on stage, you're going to pick a suitcase you feel has inside of $1,000. We're going to lock that in and open up those suitcases. Which one do you want to go for? What's your number? Is there any easier questions you can ask me, she says? Well, I gave you multiple choice here from one to 20, huh? She's going with 13 again! All right. All right, Ray, where are you from? All right, come and speak right in here, okay? All right, now I want you to open up five more suitcases again. Uh, let's get those low amount columns over here, okay? Which one do you want to open first? Three. Number three. All right, suitcase number three in the top row. Everybody will reopen their suitcase number three on their cards. And it was mid level, $200. Not bad. Okay. Seven, audience suggestion, she was going to say seven. 150, pretty good. All right. She's got a great sense of humor. All right, what's, uh, what's next? Let's get rid of that left column. I want some numbers from the, the penny to the $50. Number 
Number four, she says. Number four. Let's see what's in it. Number four. One dollar! Hey, I asked you to do it! You did it! Thank you so much! Alright, two left. Ten. Number ten. Suitcase number ten. Here we go. Two fifty. Again, mid range. Alright, one left in this round, right? Eight. Number eight. Right above your suitcase, suitcase number eight. Twenty dollars! You played a great round! Alright, now we're gonna open up the deal button. The banker is gonna tempt you to walk away with a certain amount of money, or you play on to another round. Hundred and forty-nine dollars. Should she take the deal? No deal! Still have many high amounts left on the board. Truly is a matter of opinion. No deal. No deal. If you say no deal, we'll close it. If you say deal, we push the button. No, she says no deal. We're moving on. And that's the way to play. Right on it. All right, 36 people on their way. Two people already have $5 cash play in the casino. Okay. Here we go. Next round, you're only opening four suitcases this time. She says, I'm looking for that penny. 14. 14, right beside her suitcase. Let's open up number 14. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Look, you still have 400, 350, 300. You still have several rounds left. Was that a dog? Because that was rough. All right. Let's open up another one. Six, she says, suitcase number six. You still have 350. You still have 300. Two left. Let's get rid of that. You said that penny. The 25 cents, the 50 cents. suitcase in the bottom row and it was thirty dollars you did very good that's right one left 15 all right suitcase number 15 it's my favorite number that was the penny you see my favorite number was 15. <laughs> if only i knew all right, the banker is here to tempt you to walk away again. Eighty-six dollars. Take the deal. No deal. Easy for you to say. You still have. Look, almost every amount in the high column is bigger than the banker's offer. There's no point in quitting now, I'm going to move on. All right, everybody's happy for you, Ryan. So we're going to move on. No deal. We now have 63 people on their way. Nine people now have $5 to casino free play money. Okay. Three suitcases only left in this round. Suggestion of number nine. $100. It's a low amount in the high column. 
All right, two left. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. There we go. Three hundred. We still have that three fifty. Still one left in this round. Let's get rid of one of these over here in this call, okay? Eleven, suitcase number eleven. Fifty dollars, and you did it! There comes the banker. Alright, let's see if his amount goes higher. Yeah, blow his boy, the banker kisses. Oh! I'm gonna blow him a single kiss. Sixty-eight dollars, yeah, take the about sixty-eight dollars. You should take the deal. No deal. It's up to you, Ray. It's not the funny answer. Yes. But then that wouldn't be much fun, would it? She says no deal. We're moving on. All right. On the prize board, we now have. 15 people with $5 match play, and one person with $10, I should say, free play. Free play money in the casino. Alright, now by this round, three left. We got a lot of low amounts. I like her, man. She says that 350 is in my suitcase number 13. She says it's definitely got to be in there. So then let's get rid of these low amounts, okay? Uno. Uno. Number one, suitcase number one, was 125. Again, it's a low amount in the high column. I want to get rid of that 25 cents. Twenty. Number 20, the highest suitcase. It's okay, one left. No, no, come on now, let's go for one more this round. Dos, number two, I believe that is. Five dollars! All right, Ryan, let's see what this... Ladies and gentlemen, can we please move the banker? So you're walking away with $22, guaranteed. Alright, so there you have Ray, you're having fun. Now listen, let's go to that prize board. 21 people now have $5 free play money, and 3 people have $10 free play money. Alright, now this time, we're going to play on, because even though you took the deal, people still have to open their suitcases and get their matches. What would you pick next? Five. She would have taken the audience suggestion of number five. So everybody's still opening their suitcase, and there was the 50 cents. What about next? 18. 18. All right, everybody, open up number 18. Ten dollars. All right, one suitcase left. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty-five cents. Would you have kept your number 13 or traded it for the 16? She'd keep the 13, so we'll open up 16. $40, which means in your case was the $75. But you still knew what you're taking and getting away with. 44 people have $5 free play money, 12 people have $10 free play, and two people have $50 free play money in the casino. Ray, thank you so much for playing. You were wonderful. All right. All right. Now I see people are still interested to play. Really? All right. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do.
we're going to go to a special game now. I'm still want you to look at your perforated cards. And we're going to go to something called the Banker's Wheel. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, somebody has a chance to win a free cruise, and that is Patricia P. Come on down, Patricia P. Where are you? She's right down in the front. Come on down, Patricia P. This is a little bit of a different game, okay, Patricia? What's going to happen? You're going to see this banker's wheel will appear. And each part of the pie of the wheel will have a prize. Okay, let's come on over here. Where are you from? Off right there, not that St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, it's an interesting uh, prize wheel over here. Well, here as you see, there's different um, prize uh, puzzle pieces. And they have different values. So this one has a value inside of it up there, you see. What you want to do is when you, we're going to count the audience down. I'm going to say three, two, one. Everybody's going to stream out, spin that wheel. The wheel, of course, will spin around. And then, of course, if you see, it could land and get you this value. All right? What do you think? Audience, what do you think? You say, Patricia, you got this. You got this right there in the bag. All right, Patricia, come on over here. Just stand up right over here. Okay. Are you ready, audience? Yeah. Okay, we're going to count you down in three, two, and then you're going to push the button. When we say spin that wheel, you push that button, it'll automatically activate the wheel, okay? Three, two, one. There it goes, round and round, she stops. Let's hope it's going up in the upper corner. And it is, could be, up, up, up. What you're going to do is tonight after 6 p.m., you can go anytime, anytime after 6 p.m., go to the casino cash desk window, say, hey, I play deal or no deal, here's my matches. Of course, you get your free play uh, money in the casino. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming out. I'm Rockstar. I'll see you guys around the ship for all kinds of more fun. Thanks to everybody who played. And again, thanks to Patricia, Rayan, and Megan for playing today. Thank you so much. We'll see you around.